Hey there, this is Tracking25 and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build this sorting system that uses shulker boxes. Now the cool thing about this sorting system is that you don't need a diamond pick to get your shulker box. All you do when you want your shulker box is press this button over here, and the piston pushes off the shulker box and then puts a new one there so the diamonds can fill up that shulker box now. Now it's actually not that difficult to build this sorting system. Just use a couple of observer blocks, note blocks, chest hoppers, repeaters, and comparators. So it's super simple to build. So anyways, let's start with the tutorial. Now to start everything off, what you guys want to do is dig out a six by six hole and then go down three blocks. Now once you've done that, at the beginning, you want to break out these two middle blocks and then place any old random blocks. After that, you want to place two buttons on those and then break these side blocks and replace them with redstone lamps. Perfect, it's good to go. Now at the bottom where you have the redstone lamps, you wanna clear out a little bit of area. You might have to clear out the side too, just so you can move around. Then you wanna place an observer facing downwards on that lamp, on this one as well. And then one observer facing into that one. And then you wanna make a little triangle shape with note blocks. Same thing on that side and have redstone dust on that note block and that note block and have observers on all the rest of the note blocks going upwards. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Then you wanna place a line of blocks on these observers. Perfect, that's good to go. And on these two front blocks, what we have to do now is place a dispenser facing upwards. So dispenser on that one, dispenser on that one, and have a dropper right next to the dispenser on the redstone lamps facing that way. Don't need that one and that way and perfect this is step one done and now we can move on to step two now for the next step what we can do is place down shulker boxes on top of the dispensers and then fill up these droppers with shulker boxes as well you can fill it up with as many as you want i personally just use two because i don't need that many and on the back of the observers you want to place redstone dust on that block and redstone dust on that block and that's good to go now now behind the shulker boxes what you want to do is place a piston facing this way so one on that side one on that side, and I have two hoppers going into that shulker box. Same thing on the other side, two hoppers going into the shulker box. And place a double chest on top of the hoppers. And we're gonna do that on this side as well. Perfect, and then have two more hoppers going to the previous hoppers. So this one is going to that one. Same thing on this side, that one is going to that one. And then more double chests on top of these. And that's good to go. And now we can move on with step three of building this system. Now the next step is going to the back of your system and placing a block in front of these hoppers. So block over there. And on these blocks, you want to fill it up with redstone comparators. And then make a little torch tower going up with a block in front of it, a redstone torch like that, and another block on top of those torches. And in front of these torches, you want to put another block and then put a redstone repeater on these two blocks. All right, that's good to go. And then place a block in front of these repeaters like that, and then place a redstone torch. Good, they're still on the one tick settings. Then in front of those redstone torch, you wanna to place two lamps, a lamp there, a lamp there. Then I can place the glass blocks to the side just so I can see my chest. Now what these lamps do is they let you know when these double chests are empty. So when these double chests are empty, you might have to start filling up your sorting system. Now we just have to place a couple more hoppers on these chests and then fill that out with another chest and same thing on this side with hoppers on those chests and then another double chest there and now we can move on with one of the last steps for this system now your last step is just hiding any visible redstone in your system to make it look more appealing so what i like to do is just place two slabs on these back blocks and then two slabs up here and then have a stair going this way a stair going this way and then round it out to the side and on these blocks, I usually just place an item frame and then I place what I'm gonna have in the chest on these item frames. So you can have two different items or two of the same items. And I'm using Steve heads, cause hey, why not? Now I like placing steps on these side blocks and then going in the back and then placing a block down, going up, we don't need that block. And then just going up to the top, uh, that's a good height. And then same thing on this side, block down, go up and then up to the top. And then if you want, you can place the slabs on top. It doesn't have to be that fancy. And then hiding these chests with banners. And now you're all good to go. So what you do now is if you run out of shulker boxes, you always fill them in these droppers and they can give a little test of the system. So I'm gonna put some heads in the back on these double chests and they should make their way into the system. And they're gonna make their way into the system. 
Perfect at filling up those shulker boxes. Now if I press the button, you see the piston will push the shulker box off and place a new one there. Same thing on this side. New one there. So you don't want to use a pick to get your shulker boxes, which is good if you don't have your diamond picked on you. If you want to automate the process of filling up your sorting system, you can build a little item filter at the top. So to do that, you have to come to these top chests and then place a hopper there. Then one going to that one and one going to that one and break that hopper. And do the normal sorting system having a comparator on a block like that. And going out a block there and a block down. Placing a block here and another one there. And having a repeater on this block facing that way. Good to go. Redstone dust on those blocks and then have a torch on this block and then put your item filter to go into this hopper so your chest will automatically fill up with your sorter. Now you can do this on the exact same side doing that same system with the filter so you can filter items into the chest so it can fill up over time and you can actually put these side by side so you can stack a whole bunch in your world. But anyways guys that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Tracking25 and I'll see you guys in the next video.